this whole video is shit because apparently I am an idiot and take the wrong medication in the morning. Hello everyone. Oh, this one's fallen off already. Um, so today I'm doing my full face of first impressions from stuff from my previous unboxing haul. If you didn't see it, I'll link it below. There's also a giveaway you can go into win all of that stuff. How do I? There. That one. <laughs> all of it, this stuff right here is all new from my previous unboxing and also the unboxing before that. I've got a few things like I thought I might try some of the Kylie summer collection. Here's some of the stuff we will be trying. So we're just going to jump straight in. I've already outlined my eyebrows. Today I used my Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer by MAC in the shade NW15 with the uh, detail buffer nipple brush just to blend that around the outside it's nice and precise perfect for that kind of job if you do have these brushes and don't know what you know you want to use them for try that one out <sighs> okay, it might sound a little bit weird today uh, basically I have two medications in my drawer like I'm, I'm only on one medication it's called Ultroxin, which is a very common thyroid medication. It like releases hormones into my body to make my thyroid more normal because my thyroid is not normal. And I had these other tablets from a while ago. I think it was when I had laser guy surgery or maybe it was more recently when I had some really bad anxiety and stuff. Basically, I've got these other tablets. They're called lorazepam and they make you super sleepy and calm you down a lot. It's like real good for anxiety and stuff like that. And I had them from ages ago. I don't like to make taking tablets and stuff like that a habit at all. So I only ever had like four of them and I still had like three. Now I've got two because I accidentally took one. I'm currently battling this like awkward, like very tired sensation, very relaxed, calming sensation. I feel like I can't really function properly. I you know, I had a talk with my neighbor just before and I was tripping balls, not tripping balls, but I was just finding it very hard to communicate well. <laughs> so I've got this huge coffee here. I'm just trying to like, you know, break through this. So this is basically my makeup of the day, getting ready on sleeping tablets slash, they're not really sleeping tablets, but it's sim very similar. I don't really know what the technical term is. If I'm acting a bit weird or what disinterested, I, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is already I'm feeling the effects. But my friend, she's the doctor friend, <laughs> she did say they should wear off in a couple of hours, hopefully. So fingers crossed because I have a nail appointment later that I have to drive to that is in about five hours. So hopefully we're all good because otherwise I can't drive. For foundation, I'm gonna go straight into foundation. I'm gonna swatch all of these ones on my face really quickly. I have the CoverGirl Outlast Active Foundations. You guys know how much I loved the Reset Gorgeous. Is that what it was called by CoverGirl? I love the CoverGirl Matte one. This clip is bothering me. I like this one, the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. I think CoverGirl does bomb foundations, so I'm so excited. So I think I got sent this in my previous unboxing. I'm really feeling the effect right now. Please let's not turn this into a YouTube challenge because this is just like me being so stupid. Anyway, I have no fake tan on right now. If you can, you, I'm sure you can tell. I'm going to swatch each shade in color order. So the first one I have is shade 810. Classic Ivory, which is usually the palest one, which that looks pretty good to be fair. And when I've got no fake tan on though, just a side note, like I'm still not like super pale like i am pale but like i know so many of my friends are way more pale than me when they've got no fake tan on so like i don't know i feel like lately drugstores are just getting back into that old rhythm back when i was like 18 where you could not find a foundation pale enough they have like all of these like light to medium skin tones but no like super dark and no super light so anyway this is the lightest one i have 810 classic ivory next up we have 820 Creamy Natural, and I will just donate the ones that I don't need, I guess. And then 825 Buff Beige. Ooh, that looks like a really nice color as well for more of like a fake tan. I'll just zoom you in a little bit. So I'll just blend these three out first. I really like that color. Then we have 840, which I guess these would be my fake tan shades that I've seen along. Natural Beige. And then the final one is called 855 Soft Honey. And I'm pretty sure they do have more shades than this, guys. This is just the ones they've sent me. So that's those two there. I think 855 will be too dark for me always, but this shade here should be really, really good for a fake tan. It's a really lovely undertone. 
the texture already feels really nice as well like very creamy that one's definitely at too orangey for me that one was shade 820 so i think i'm gonna keep three on me for now and i'm gonna get rid of 820 and 855 i keep saying really weird words right now i'm like me so we're going to try this coconut primer water 3 one primer water by wet n wild in the shade coconut or scent coconut i'm feeling all sorts of weird emotions right now like this is weird. a little bit nauseous <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this is tiny. You get 45 mil in here? That's so much, but it looks so little. Um, in love with cocoa, and it is a prep, set, and refresh. So you can use it before, during, and after, I guess. That sprays a lot at once. So you only need like three or four what is it spray spritzes spritzes and your face feels a bit wet which I don't mind that for before makeup I'll just let that sit in to my skin a little bit and we'll just see how it feels just see how like the texture goes my eyelids are going really crusty again I don't know why They're like peeling so I don't know how good my eye makeup's gonna turn out today like literally my eyelids are peeling like what is going on does anyone else get peeling eyelids is it the weather is it some kind of product I've used I don't know. By the way, thank you for the love on my ASMR video. I'm gonna do another one, but I think in my next one, I might do a no talking type of ASMR. I might do my whole makeup routine and just use like brush sounds and tapping sounds and blending sounds and stuff like that. I don't know. So I'm gonna buy a blue Yeti. I've got a blue snowball that's a microphone. The last one I used was a Bose little speaker. I mean, yeah, it's just like a cheapie. So I feel like it wasn't the best at picking up sounds for that last ASMR video I did, but I wasn't gonna go buying expensive equipment if you guys hated the video. But so many of you guys gave me such lovely feedback, and even though that video got less views than my other videos do, like on average, I still just really enjoyed doing something a bit different. And I'm not gonna say it's like a regular thing I'm gonna do. I know heaps of you guys don't like it either, and that's totally fine, so don't worry. I'm not literally gonna turn into an ASMR channel at all. Like, if it came to that, I would just have a different channel. But like, I wouldn't mind doing like one every couple of months or something like that. Just cause like, for me, it was like a really nice little like, self-love moment almost. Like, it was really calming for myself. And then to see your feedback as well, like, really enjoying it, I was like, shit. So, I'm investing in a slightly better microphone for the next one and we'll see how it goes I'm gonna take some of your advice on board so thank you guys so much anyway let's move along now that this is so done it didn't leave any type of tacky feeling on my skin whatsoever I'll just pop it to the side so we can use it after our makeup as well let's just go straight in with the foundation I think today I'm actually going to mix together two shades of this so I've got 825 and 810 buff beige and classic ivory I'm just going to go wet my sponge that was my best British accent. By the way, I've put a new phone case from my haul on my phone. What do you think? I love it. Hopefully I don't lose my phone. I always find when I've got black like iPhones or black cases on my iPhone, I always lose them. <laughs> and I also have in my new Luxie hair extensions. I haven't styled them at all. They just give like a little bit of like a darker honey kind of blonde kick to my hair, which I don't hate. Then I also have some other hair extensions from Chic Hair Extensions New Zealand that are a bit more like ashy blonde that make my hair look a bit lighter. So it's quite cool that I can kind of play with the tones of my hair just by adding some extensions. Anyways, I'm gonna use my Age Bright Spot Fader that I've been using almost every day. I say almost because I forget some days. <laughs> so I just apply it with the little tip. This pimple up here is pretty much gone, thankfully. It took a while. And then I'm just going to rub that in. I also have my diluted apple cider vinegar. This has helped so much with my digestion. I had some dodgy digestion after like, when was it? Going to Auckland, I think. You know, having some like, it's just bread and stuff like that that my body just doesn't like. I've learned a couple of days of drinking apple cider vinegar. <laughs> I swear it helps so much with my bloating, so much with just my uncomfortable stomach. Even if I just feel like I've eaten too much or something like that, just having a glass of water with a little, you know, dollop of apple cider vinegar in it, I just feel like it's such a calming thing. And then I just always make sure to like scull heaps of regular water while I'm drinking it as well, just so that it doesn't erode my teeth because it is a vinegar. So I've been very hydrated lately. <laughs> Sorry there's so much banter in this video, I just, I don't know. Obviously these friggin' tablets have me feeling some kind of way. I'm like, stay awake Shannon, don't have a nap. My manager was like, Shannon just go have a nap. I'm like, no, I've got too much to do. Okay, so we're gonna take a stripe of 810, Ooh. and a stripe of 825, which is still pale, but not as pale. I don't really know, it still might end up too dark for me, but I don't know. 
I just, I want to mix them. Don't ask me why. It's just a thing that's happening. Mmm. Ooh, what the heck is that on my sponge? It has to come off my desk. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, when I was doing my Instagram chooses my makeup video, I'll link it below. And I was like being dramatic and upset and like blah. And people were like, Shannon, there are people dying. There is sex trafficking, blah, blah, blah. Like, and I'm like, obviously I'm just like, eh, I'm being dramatic on purpose. <laughs> obviously if my makeup turns out bad, I'm not actually like, like I just say shit like that. It's my personality, like God. Like when my makeup turns out shit, I'm like, I am so offended. <laughs> Like, how often do I say that? I'm so offended. I need to put it on a, on a t-shirt, just I am so offended. <laughs> because, like, I just take the piss. I care a lot about the stuff happening in the world. And you know what? My videos are away. People can come to just hopefully smile, learn something new, maybe have a little laugh at some of the dumb shit I say. When I say this is the worst day of my life, just because I, may, like, mess up my eyeliner, I'm clearly taking the piss out of myself, guys and this eyelid, you know, like, this is the worst day of my life because my eyelid is peeling, so, yeah. I guess people just can't handle my type of sarcasm slash sense of humor, and I don't know, I don't want to change myself just because of that. Like, this is just the dumb shit I say. I be dramatic. And I feel like I'm so not dramatic compared to so many people as well, but hey. I feel like I didn't need too much product. It's got pretty decent coverage. Let me zoom you in just one more time. By the way, my earrings are from Miss Lola from my last haul as well. They're so cute. I feel like the foundation may have oxidized half a shade, but it doesn't look orange. It just looks slightly darker. Oh my God, hiccups. I really like the finish. So yeah, this is supposed to be just super long wear. Sweat proof, transfer proof, humidity proof, oil free, won't clog pores, suitable for skin types. So yeah, I'm not going to go for a workout today, but it, I guess it's okay for workouts. I mean, you know, I want to make out working out, but I would say stuff like this, like try it out if you're in like a hot climate, humid climate, if you sweat a lot, if you're working in a kitchen, you know, if you're a chef or something, maybe. I don't know. I'll definitely continue to use this one though because I love the finish. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It hasn't emphasized any pores. The coverage is pretty perfect. It's that type of full coverage that looks like full coverage, but you can still see a little bit of your skin underneath so you don't look cakey. I love it. I'm a fan already. Okay. So before I set my foundation, because I wanted to do this in my first impression last time, but I forgot and I set my foundation. I wanted to try those new ColourPop sticks. I've also got this like orgasm liquid highlighter that I want to try. Oh, by the way, I've already tried these because I tried the clear one at my desk or like the pinky clear one, the Jouer Lip Balms. They feel really nice at first, but I feel like they dry out my lips really, really badly. Lip Enhancer Shine Balm. I don't even know if they're supposed to be a super like nourishing product or if it's literally just like a shiny balm that looks pretty, you know what I mean? Blushes. So we've got the shade Flamenco, which is quite a pop of pink. Or I have the shade, this is more neutral, more, not neutral, more chill. This one is called Mini Me. I think I'll go in with Mini Me. Just gonna go like this. And then I'm going, do I take my... You know what, I'm gonna take just something new, not new, different. I can't make sense, sorry. This whole video is shit because apparently I'm an idiot and take the wrong medication in the morning. Vegan angled face brush. And I'm going to just dab that until it blends and hopefully it blends well because otherwise I'm gonna have a pink stripe on my face which is gonna be great. Sally is inspiring me, inspiring? <laughs> Sally is inspiring me <laughs> to try out more cream stuff because she switched a lot more creamy on her routine um and i tried some of her stuff when we were hanging out in auckland for sephora and it looked so pretty and because i love a glow you know okay that's actually really pretty and you know what if you're just doing a quick no makeup look with some bb cream and just a hint of that that's so pretty just to like finish your complexion in such a short amount of time this is the nars orgasm liquid highlighter illuminator you get 15 ml in here which is a decent amount why does this, oh it's a, oh it is, it's a little pumpy thing, eyedropper. How much do I need? I don't really know what to use to apply this. I'm just gonna add a few dots. What? I'm gonna do one side at a time because this is scary. I'm actually going to use my paddle brush and just use the lightest, see how I'm like kind of flopping my brush like this, just to like get a really light pressure. 
let the gravity do its work. <laughs> it's really hard to tell how this looks because of all the lighting. I think it just gave like a very, I don't know, shiny effect to my skin. Like it doesn't sparkle, it's just like a gloss. How does it look on my hand? Do you see what I mean? I actually really like that. I feel like you can't really screw it up, so <laughs> let's go ahead and do it on the other side. It's not giving me a dark stripe, despite it looking darker than my skin tone. Be interesting to see how this product would look on a deeper skin tone. Like if it would actually highlight, or does it still just do the same thing? Is it separating my foundation? Not really. A little bit, maybe. I'm just putting it like all over where I put blush basically and on my cheekbone. Oh, I really wanted to try this though. This is a Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. This bronzer is gonna be way too dark for me though, but should I still just like give it a go for lols? I mean, maybe. Oh, but then there's also these ones, which I really, nah, I'm gonna try the designer brands ones. I'll try the Natasha Denona one when I've got a fake tan on just cause otherwise. Oh, and I still haven't tried the Freck. I'm gonna do that in a separate video too. I'm gonna use the Freck on a look where I do something, I don't know, maybe like editorial or like supernatural, I don't know, you, you tell me. I don't believe we have a new setting powder, so I'm just gonna use a normal setting powder that I would normally use. I'm gonna switch it up today instead of using a full coverage one, because I like the amount of coverage I've got. I'm gonna use my Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. Um, even though it's quite matte, I'm hoping you'll still see some shine underneath, and then I'm gonna use like setting spray. So it looks like this, I'm going in with a powder brush. I like to just squash it on and it tastes so good you guys you don't understand wait i forgot to set my under eye i mean put concealer on my under eyes well <laughs> i'm going to um use my setting spray to soak up the excess powder i like the spritzer it's just like heavy like it puts on a lot but it's very fine and like the mist is really nice i love the smell of coconut it's not a super strong intense coconut it's a very mild coconut okay my skin looks a bit dusty I feel like I did not blend in my powder very well. I'll give it a good rub over soon. I just want to put on some concealer. The only new concealer I have goes with the Revlon foundation, which I haven't used today, but YOLO. This is the Candid Antioxidant Concealer, photo ready. Concealer with caffeine, antioxidant, antioxidants, anti-pollution, anti-blue light, without sulfates, fly, fly, fly. No harsh fragrances, oil free and medium coverage. So this is the shade Banana. So I'm gonna use the shade Banana. Oh no, this is not gonna go well is it? I'm such an idiot. Why did I do this when I've literally just taken like relaxation pills? You know what though? That's blending out quite pretty. Revlon Foundation was like my first ever holy grail. The, which was it called? The one in the glass bottle. Can you guys remember what it's called? I've like gone mind blank. Did anyone else used to use that during high school? Like that was my high school foundation. I remember once my ex-boyfriend accidentally spilt half of my bottle on the countertop. Like he knocked it over. And I was like devastated because it was like $45. <laughs> but he bought me a new one. I was like, yes bitch, thank you. It was very nice of him because I didn't expect him to replace it. It's times like that that make me so thankful to be where I'm at right now. The amount of makeup I have is now terrible and it gives me anxiety. <laughs> Whereas back in the day, I was broke and could not even afford good makeup at all. So, oh, the tables have turned, but I'm very thankful for it. And at least I can actually give makeup to other people that need it as well. I remember a few years ago when my cousin was a little bit younger, I gave her a big bag of makeup because she was just like, you know, young in high school and I knew what it was like when you're in high school and all you want to do is play with makeup, but like, where's that money coming from? And makeup is so expensive as well. Although here in New Zealand, we're getting like a lot more cheaper brands on board, which is so good. Anyways, I'm gonna use the same powder and just set this. I'm hoping the peachy kind of undertone will help to neutralize the yellow a little bit. I think this concealer is decent. Like it's really brightening. It doesn't have the best coverage. I would love to just, you know what, I'm going to. I'm just gonna stamp a little bit of my Studio Fix on top, just for some extra coverage. I feel like it would look amazing if I had a fake tan and use this if I wanted like that very bright under eye effect. It's definitely not bad at all. I want to keep trying that one out. And now it's made me quite excited to try out the foundation too. Oh my God, I'm talking about so much random shit in this video, I'm sorry. Do you guys like it when I like chat a lot or do you prefer just to like, you know, show the products, get the video done in like 15 minutes. Like, do you like them to be half an hour or at 15? What's better? See, that worked really nice. Stacking those products to really brighten. Like, ooh, those are some bright under eyes. You can still see the blush, the highlighter, not so much. I kind of just want to see if I put on a little bit more, if 
it separates the powder and everything. I'm gonna do it on the ugly side of my <gasps> ah! Help! <laughs> I'm gonna do it on both sides because that just squid out too much. I'm just using the lightest pressure once again. Wee. It's definitely separating my makeup a little bit. I have so many regrets. It looks so pretty, but I don't think you should set it with powder and don't put it on top of powder. Learn from my mistakes. I had to give it a go though. I had to test it for you guys and see what happened, you know? I don't know. We'll try to fix it shortly. Maybe I can just add a little bit of concealer over top of this area and spray a shitload of setting spray. Maybe it'll dissolve it all together. Let's do brows quickly. So I got sent a whole lot of new brow stuff from Hourglass. So we have fill it, define, build, and set. So the fill, it says it's an arch brow sculpting pencil. So it's like that. And then the define is a micro pencil, which is usually what I prefer. I don't know, I still like these ones sometimes. And then the build is a fiber gel, so it's got micro fibers in it. And then set is an invisible gel that sets, so the build still has a tint to it. I'm gonna try, I think, just three steps. So I'm gonna try out the Define. I'm gonna go in with the shade Soft Brunette. They've sent me three shades. There was like a dark brunette and a, I don't know, a warm brunette, I think. Ooh, I like the shape of this. So instead of it being your typical like circle, it's actually a little tiny oval. Hopefully you can see that. You've got a spoolie on the other end. So I'll just quickly spoolie. And now I'm just going to use this just where I want some extra coverage. As you guys know, I get my eyebrows tinted and everything. So there's not a whole lot to fill in, but ooh, I really like that. It looks like real hair strokes. I'm gonna like elongate my eyebrows a little. The color's really nice too. Yep, that's nice. You won't be able to see much of it before and after. You'll just have to take my word for it. It's not too creamy where it just smears everywhere. It's like a nice kind of in-between creamy and very stiff pencil, which is my favorite. And then the next step, well, I take the same shade, Soft Brunette. So this is the Build Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I assume it's kind of similar to like um, Gimme Brow. So I'll just see if I, I can feel like there's nothing on the wand, but oh no, there is, okay. That's stunning. It really distributes like the most perfect amount of product. I'm gonna have to brighten this. Like it makes my brow hairs look real nice and defined. There's no glunkiness, like no clumping. I don't even know if glunkingness is actually a word, but anyway, it is now. You've got a longer side to the brush and a shorter side. So I'm just using the long side at the moment. I really like that color. So there you go, that's that. So this is the brow, what is it? Set brow shaping gel. And it's the clear one. It comes in the same little container. And I'm just gonna add some of this, cause why not? I don't usually do this many steps, unless I'm going for like a super fleeky brow look, but like usually I'm too lazy. And that is how my brows look with the Hourglass products. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so far down with this. I'm just gonna like wipe it off. <laughs> so like I showed in my haul, there's like three different colors. So I'm gonna start with this bronzer because it looks like a lighter color. If I show you, can Ow, I just pinched my skin. Ah, I pinched that part like when I open it anyway. Um, if you compare these two shades, you can see this one's much darker, which I still wanna try with my face. I love dark bronzers. But this one here is called Barcelona Bronze and I'll try it for my fair girls out there. Cause I know I always get so many questions about a good bronzer for light skin. So I'm gonna use this one. You could almost contour with this, I feel. I might try it, it's too light. I'm just gonna put it around my forehead area, down my nose. This is a good color for my nose because it's not too dark. Okay, you know what? I'm going in with the darker one. This one still would be good for people that are very, very fair. They just want a very light bronze, but for me, like that's even too light for me because I like it to look kind of dramatic. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, if you like very natural and you are very, very, very fair, then try this one because that would work for you. So I'm gonna try this one, which is in the shade, shade in the shade Tahiti Tan. It's a bit warmer and deeper. I love the pattern that's put on there. And I'm going to bronze around. Ooh, I've got a pimple there. Ooh, see that's actually giving me a bit of color. And then I'm gonna go in with my big brush and just buff it out. So those ones don't actually have a glow to them. So I'm gonna use a third bronzer. Yeah, you heard me right. This one is in the shade Miami Heat, and this one has a kind of bronze effect. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this just around my temples, because I like to kind of have a little glow happening. That is so pretty. I love this one. This is my favorite. A little bit down the very center of my nose to highlight a little, a little bit on my chin, and just a little bit like on my kind of cheeks. And then to highlight my cheekbone actually i need a contour first my little makeup obsession makeup revolution contour color and just contouring 
where I normally contour. Usually just under the cheek, a little bit on the nose, a little bit under the lip maybe. What I really like about my complexion is it all looks so natural, apart from the little bit of powderiness that I have now. But like the blush is kind of just like transformed into looking like my natural skin underneath foundation, if you know what I mean? Like it just looks really natural. Meaning to try this highlighter for literally months. I got it like months ago. This is the Glow Powder by Mecca Max and it just looks stunning, don't you reckon? So I'm gonna try this on my cheekbones. It's about time. I've had so many days where I've just been doing my makeup off camera and I'm like, oh, I should just use it. But I'm like, no, try it on camera. So I'm gonna start off with the lighter color. The lighter color is kind of like a light gold. It looks so pale, but I feel like on my skin, it's not gonna look terrible. It's very shiny. I'm using a um, detail face brush to really buff this in. There's heaps of reviews on this brush on the website on exobeautyshop.com if you want to go see what other people think of it because basically everyone else loves it just as much as I do. It's so good to buff in your highlighters so they look way better. Like literally way better. I definitely feel like the foundation oxidized a little bit more again. So yeah, I think I should probably have just used the lighter shade in the end of all that but it's okay. I'm probably going to put on a big hoodie later anyway because it's freezing outside. When I go to get my nails done, I'm not going to be looking cute like this. I always just wear like workout gear and hoodies. That is my complexion done. I don't know why I just went balls deep and did all of that all at once. But now I guess I'll move on to my eye makeup and I'm going to use some Kylie stuff. So she's got these little um, eye toppers which I really want to utilize. They were also the ones from Hourglass that I was tempted to use. But I think I'll try just the Kylie ones in this video. This is like how it all came packaged. So I'm just gonna unpackage it all and show you guys like what's in the collection and it is still available I checked before filming this. I was like I hate filming and then realizing that like everything's unavailable Okay, so I had a quick peek at the lip products and just honestly I've either got dupes for them all or they don't really interest me that much So I'm gonna give them to someone else but the eye colors the eye products I'm hoping I love them because I love the look of them. So this is what the eyeshadow palette itself looks like. I'm using these colors today. Hold on, let me zoom you in so that it's like dark so you can see the real colors. So that's probably about a bit more realistic. So there's some really chunky shimmers. Remind me of like Colourpop palettes um, and then some mattes as well. And then we have Aqua Mama, which is like a, I don't know, what are they? Like eye toppers? Shimmer Eye Glaze. So the aqua one, we've got this like pinkier one here and that's called Deep Sea Dreams. And then we've got Night Swim, which is a wearable like nude kind of color. And then Ocean Child, which is like a really soft golden shade. So I don't know what color I'm gonna go for today. I feel like either the gold one or the aqua one. Maybe we'll do something with a pop of color because I really like the look of that. That could be good for my aqua look that I want to do for my color series too. I don't know. So I'm going to start out with the shade My Treasure, which is this one right here. And should I do a base? Okay, yeah, I'll do a base. People always hate me if I don't do a base. I'm going to use my Natasha Denona eye primer. You guys know me with Kylie eyeshadows. I feel like it's a 50-50. 50% of the time I love them. 50% of the time I don't like them that much at all. So... We'll see. The colors themselves really grab my attention though. Like I really like the look of the composition. So this is gonna help conceal a little bit and just even give my eyelids a little bit more moisture too. So hopefully we can blend well on top of them. I'm not gonna be too harsh on the way these eyeshadows do blend over top of my skin right now. Cause like I said, my eyelids are literally peeling. So like there's a large possibility that if the blending isn't the best it's just because of my texture on my eyelid I'm just tapping that on my outer corner first pigment seems really nice I'm gonna just do a little bit of blending okay considering how shit my eyelids are right now it's still blending really nicely I feel like the color looks way lighter once we blend it out so I'm just going to go back in with another layer and I'm just gonna bring it a little bit on that outer corner Okay, we're just going super soft like that. Then next, I'm going to take this slightly warmer shade right next to it. This one right here. And it's called Sure About You. I'm going to put that on the inner part of my crease. And just kind of blend that into the other side. This is where my eyelids are very, very, very shit. You see my skin literally like peeling off onto my brush. That is so gross. Like a nice little exfoliant treatment. <laughs> and then I'm going to take some more of that. Actually, no, I'm going to take the other brown called Welcome Aboard. This one right here. Might as well just test out a few different colors and then just blend through the center there, the two colors together. Oh my god, my skin is out of control, guys. Can you see all my skin just like sitting on the surface? I hope not. I just want to sit here with tweezers and like try to peel them all off, but I feel like that's not a good idea. 
Anyway, so this is what we've kind of ended up with with that situation. I might just try this color called Sea Pearl. It's like a shimmer, light kind of goldish, bronzish kind of hybrid almost. And I'm just going to pat that just on the eyelid, kind of maybe in a cut crease shape, but I'm not gonna actually cut my crease with the primer or anything. I'm just gonna go straight in with the eyeshadow. This is just dry as well, so I'm pretty happy with how this looks dry. There was a little bit of fallout, so I'm just going to take a brush and just flick it off. And then I'm just going to take my brown and just kind of blend over that lid a little. And I might add one of the gold shimmery colors on there too. I do feel like a lot of the colors are losing their intensity. Like they don't stay very dark, the dark ones. So I'm just adding another layer. But I mean, that looks stunning, right? Like. Those colors look real pretty. This would be pretty bridal makeup or something without the gross eyelids, hopefully. Oh my God, I bet it's gonna happen to me on my wedding day. That would be my luck. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the gold. No, I'm not yet. First, I'm gonna go with the, uh, I was gonna call this silver. Go in with the teal. I don't really know what the best kind of brush to use is. So I think I'm just gonna go in with my detail buffer brush. And it's quite a solid kind of texture. And when you rub your brush on there, like it's not all like squishy or anything, which is good. So you can pick the product up nice and easily. And I'm going to just distribute this across the lower lash line. I am definitely getting some fallout with this product. And half of it's like going in my eye. I mean, it'd be much more manageable if I put this on my upper lid. Holy shit, it's so pretty though. Like it's so multi-dimensional. Like it's got this like, oh, it's in my eye. It's got this like gold throwback to it. And I'm gonna clean my brush and hopefully get this out of my eye. And then I'm gonna go into the gold for my inner corner. With this product, I feel like you must wanna kind of dig under the top layer and you get this more like creamy consistency, kind of like the Stila foil eyeshadows that they used to do. I'm just gonna take this and pack that on at the inner corner and blend it into the like green color a little bit just so there's like a nice ombre effect you could also probably use a q-tip to apply this but I don't know, i'm trying not to use q-tips too often i still use them but is there any replacement for q-tips out yet because i feel like q-tips are really bad for the environment as well single use kind of things you know i'm just adding a little bit of this up into the eyelid crease area because it's pretty just using the nipple of the brush to really get into the crease and then just flicking off all the fallout the fallout comes off so easy so it's not really too much of an issue it hasn't stuck in anywhere should i add on a little bit of this can i kelp you shade just because it's super unique this is more of a glitter finish eyeshadow and i'm just going to put this like right on my eyelid actually i thought it was going to be a real green but it's more of just like a golden glitter so there you go not scary at all. So I do like the Kylie things. They just remind me of the old Magnificent Metals by Stila. Quite dry, like I feel like you could wet your brush if you wanted it to go on more fluidy and less like chunky looking. I am just going to use a dark green eyeliner today. This is a Teaspoon by Colourpop. I've never used it. You just know, like, you know when you get heaps of makeup in your eyes and you blow your nose the next morning, like after you, or like at night after you remove all your makeup and you have like makeup in your snot or is that just me because i get like if i wear black on my waterline i blow my nose i have like black in my snot just me maybe i'm going to use my tarte liquid eyeliner and just do a thin wing wait do i have a new one i do i've got my anastasia beverly hills one whoops i love the applicator there was a drugstore one i'm sure it was by l'oreal that had a applicator like this like five six years ago and it was my holy grail so i'm hoping i like this applicator still a freaking eyelash just there like can you not fall out Ooh, very liquidy which i like because it makes it go on real smooth like you can see it's a good test to do over top of this glitter too nice and sharp okay review time honestly oh my wings are quite high up today usually i do them more like long but i'm like Fuck. that was actually so easy to apply it dries completely matte and opaque and just beautiful like so dark it looks like gel eyeliner it was really easy to get a nice pointy tip and I feel like my eyes look very even compared to normal. That already is such a win because it just looks immediately perfect and was so easy to use that took me no time at all. Look who I've got. Say hello. <laughs> um, I just chucked on some lashes and mascara. These ones I'm trying out um, for a more like chill natural kind of style 
for like the faux mink range i really like them they just kind of wing out my eye a little bit they're not too heavy they're like i don't know more like the rebel and stuff i guess in terms of that type of like weight okay lipstick crayons by Inica organics I'm gonna try one of these on, just like a nude, I guess. So and it can make some really good vegan makeup. Their mascara is so good, I love it. This is the lipstick crayon in tan nude by Inica. It's all certified and inspected and everything. It's made out of organic ingredients, which is so cool. And this is the color. It's a very, very like warm nude. I can see why they called it tan nude. It's quite a pretty color. And then on top of that, I'm going to put on some Coral of the Wild lip gloss by MAC. It's from that new collection that's got the pink kind of marble packaging. Looks like this. It smells so good. I don't know how I feel about that lip color with the eye makeup. I feel like something a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit less warm <laughs> would have been a bit better. Should I wear that instead and just wear it like by itself? Or should I wear this? Like, I don't know. I'm going to try it on. Screw it. Let's do it. One more color. I love doing like different lip options. So this is the first lip option. This one I'm about to put on is called Chili Red. Do I have a pimple right there? That's why it's not going on nicely. I love this lip color. Hold on. I'm just brightening it ever so slightly because I think it's a bit too dark. That's more realistic. It's like the perfect deep terracotta based red. And I actually think it looks kind of cool with the eye makeup. I don't know. It's definitely much more dramatic like with the blue <laughs> or teal or whatever color you call that. But I kind of like it. Is that terrible or is that like legit? I don't know. But yeah, that's the finished look guys. And I didn't fall asleep. I'm going to like throw away those tablets so that it never happens to me ever again. And I'm going to go keep myself busy for the rest of the few hours I have here at home. Um, so I don't fall asleep with my nail appointment. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.